You know, sometimes I hate how predictable humanity is. I've talked about this event several times in other videos, but I'm going to just give a, a quick refresher just to be sure everyone's up to speed. The event in question that I'm referencing with this chain title is that the Alamo Draft House Theater that they had a women's night or women's showing, I'm sorry, for Wonder Woman. And they're being sued for discrimination. They're being sued because while I don't think they barred men from entering if they had a ticket, they never said that they wouldn't. They they made it sound like only women or pe persons that identify as women could enter or could buy tickets. And when asked, uh, well, are you going to ban men, they, ne they never said. So they made it seem like men weren't permitted at all. Now, because of that, there is a gun range that is facing a similar discrimination lawsuit for having a ladies' night event. They have since canceled said ladies' night events. I'm not sure if it was weekly or monthly, whatever, because of this lawsuit. And I am 100% sure that the lawsuit for that gun range is entirely because of the Alamo Draft House law, uh, lawsuit. I saw this coming. I just didn't think it would happen so quick. I would have thought that the draft house lawsuit would have ended and then everyone would have sued over these kind of ladies night events. And I just want to say something real quick. I don't really have an issue with ladies night events. What they are typically is just events weekly, monthly, whatever where women get in cheaper or the like at bars the the drinks they buy are cheaper just to encourage more women to come I don't have an issue with that because they aren't banning men it's just that they're having an event where women get stuff cheaper uh, uh, to to try and attract more women that that's fine that's okay when you explicitly ban someone because of their gender or make it sound like you're doing that, then you have an issue. I'm going to go back to an older case that happened with a cake company that refused to make a wedding cake for a gay couple. Now, they got a lot of shit for not doing that, for discriminating against someone's sexual orientation, which is against the law. It's against discrimination laws. They were not, uh, and there are, there are people that will go, well, it's their right as a business to refuse to service a customer for whatever reason. And I can understand that. But at the same time, I'm, I'm comparing ideas here. They were discriminated against for their sexual orientation. Here, at the Wonder Woman showing, men were discriminated against for their sex. And both, under discrimination laws, are illegal. So if you feel strongly about one, you have to feel strongly about the other. It's not a, well, this is different because scenario. And that's why I bring that up. Because your feelings based on one have to align with the other. And as I said, I figured lawsuits were going to happen against other, well, against lady night, ladies' nights events. Because they could be seen as similar. I didn't think it would be so quick, and I think that a lot of companies, especially the bars, will just stop doing it altogether to try and avoid these kind of lawsuits or just avoid the, the bad publicity in general. 
in five years' time, I can almost guarantee you there will no longer be any more Ladies' Night at all because of Alamo Draft House. And, and as a quick aside, I love how Alamo Draft House is handling this. It, it's so beautiful. This is so telling of them in general. They are having a clowns only showing for it. Basically to, to show, oh, the, 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 this, is, this is not a thing. We do this kind of thing all the time kind of thing. Uh-huh. Sure. I, uh, I wonder how a judge is going to see that. Because this, to me, seems like arrogance and hand-waving and just being a dick, I'll be honest. But, but that's, that's an aside. We live in a very sue-happy age. And companies and businesses do a lot of stuff to try and avoid lawsuits. So I can, I can guarantee this is going to have a, a domino chain style effect, just a, a giant ripple. This one lawsuit is going to cause a, an end to an entire, co uh, entire business concept. I can pretty well guarantee that. And, and that's just... This is what happens when people go to illegal extremes. It, it punishes everyone else. And I wish that there would be some common fucking sense had, and they would have known better than to do this. That they broke the law, and now everyone else has to suffer for their arrogance. I don't care if it's, oh, to look good, or they were doing it for the right reasons. No, it doesn't matter. This was illegal, and now everyone is paying for their actions. So if you ever lament that Ladies' Night has come to an end in your local area, just, just remember back to the Alamo Draft House and remember to personally thank them. This has been Math Machine. Uh, just seeing a, a fun little ripple in, a, in an event, and I'm curious how far it's going to go, how quick, anyway. Peace out.